Hello beauties, it's your girl Shayna Latrice. Beauty content is all I release. So if makeup, fashion, hair, and nails is your vibe, then girl, you need to subscribe. So in today's video, I will be showing you exactly how I achieve DIY white acrylic nails at home. I just feel like these short squared white acrylic nails are perfect for the summer honestly any season super classy and right now i'm just in my grown woman classy era yes the trends are super cute however let's get into the timeless beauty Again, we're gonna start with prepping our nails we want to prep our nail beds to just make sure that the acrylic has something to adhere to so I usually just use my Tammy Taylor filer and lightly um, file my natural nail bed nothing harsh it's very much light there should be no pressure added when you are filing your natural nail. You just wanna remove the shine from the nail. That's all we're doing. We're not taking off any of the natural nail. We're just removing that natural shine, that grease. We want it to be ashy. We want it to be um, matte when we're done. I'm taking my cuticle pusher to push back my cuticles and I'm going to remove the crest around my cuticle area with the other side of my cuticle pusher so you will see me scraping and scooping that out this step is absolutely necessary because it helps your set last longer mine hold up at least three to four weeks when I push back my cuticles and I've noticed that my nails have been growing like crazy since I've been doing my nails at home I used to go to the salons they do not push back your cuticles at least when I've gone they do not push back my cuticles or clean around my cuticles um, I have to come back every two weeks I mean Doing my nails at home is really giving Russia manicure, honey. I'm gonna go where I'm celebrated, okay? Period. Let's get into it. After we're done prepping our natural nails, we're gonna go ahead and prep the nail tips. I like to order my nail tips already in the shape that I'm going for, which is short squared. It just saves me a lot of time, especially since I'm doing my own nails. I don't have to worry about shaping them into the coffin shape. I just already buy it in that shape. <clears throat> so for my beginner at home nail DIYers, definitely buy your tips already made. It's going to save you a lot of time. Once I size those tips to each of my natural nails to so make sure that they are matching evenly from sidewall to sidewall, the nail tips aren't hanging over or they're just a perfect fit. You want to make sure they're a perfect fit and that they're not like any gaps. If you have to press that nail tip down, then it's too small because you're trying to force it. And then just take some KDS glue, a dot of that, and put the nail tips on and then next I apply the dehydrator and the primer which is going to help the nails last from four to six weeks
Now it's time for acrylic application. Dip your acrylic brush in the liquid monomer and swipe the sides of your monomer dish to release the excessive monomer from the brush. This will ensure the bead is not too wet nor too dry. Next we will dip our brush into the white acrylic powder, picking up a small bead of product, gently press the acrylic bead onto the nail surface. Use your acrylic brush to spread the acrylic evenly, working from side to side. Important to not let it slide over onto your skin. <clears throat> Add more acrylic as needed to cover the entire nail. I definitely need to follow my own instructions, my own tips because this bead was clearly running and even though I was having some of my beads where they were running, I didn't let it consume me. I just took it as a learning opportunity and I also kept a smaller acrylic brush on the side. I really don't remember how much it cost. I know it was nothing over $10. Probably not even over $5. I feel like you can definitely find just a cheap acrylic nail brush at the beauty supply stores. And I use that to just take away products. Or if I had been using some nail polish, I use it to, you know, remove any um, mistakes so it's not perfect I'm definitely not a licensed technician but I just wanted to challenge myself on doing these acrylic nails at home so I can do my own nails I feel like I can save money by doing my own nails at home and like I mentioned earlier I just feel so much comfortable in my own space I've always done my own makeup, my own hair, my own nails. After acrylic application, I am going to be reshaping the nails using my Tammy Taylor Filer. The look I'm going for is squared short, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is even, clean, sleek. It does help me to really smooth the nails out if there's any lumps. Obviously, during the application of the acrylic, you want to make sure it's smooth as possible so you'll avoid having to file or having to use your hand drill. But um, over time, I've gotten better, so it's to the point where I hardly ever need 
to pick up that hand drill. The Tammy Taylor father really does do the job and I'm not even getting paid to say this. Um, so yeah, the orange buffer, I really feel like that's just for play. I, I really only do it because um, for the purposes of this video, I do not use, I do not pick that up on the, on the regular basis of just doing my nails at home. And once we're done, we're going to go ahead and put a layer of top gel coat on, cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then after that, everything is going to be finalized when we put on our cuticle oil. Let me know if you have any other ideas for my DIY nail series and for my new viewers if you enjoyed this video it's plenty more where they came from go ahead and subscribe to the channel you are not going to regret it make sure you turn on the post notifications so you will be notified for another one of these dope videos but until next time bye beauties Mwah.